difference now that when you don't want to, and God is calling you to. And when you got other plans and God is saying, that's not what I have for you yes. to do. I need you over here today. And you say, but God, can't we do it this way? But that's not God's plan. Right. Or sometimes when you think you know the plan, yeah. and he changes. Amen. And I don't like that either. Because yeah. <laughs> I think I know that there's some time we have a conversation. But I realize that he's all knowing. Yeah. He's all powerful. He's the only true and living God. And he's the only one that I truly honor, 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 honor today for being in control of my life. Amen. Amen. And so I just want you to really understand that this is just really, I don't even know how often I can put in words when I really feel like God is doing it. It just blows my mind because I understand that it's not me doing it and that it's God that's doing it. And that puts me in Amen. awe of right. him. Often and off of him. Um, I don't know. I, and I and I I've, I've been sick the last two weeks. Every time we get ready to do something, <laughs> girl, every time we just get flipped all over the place. Yes. But God still brings us yes. through. Yes, He does. Every yes. time. Yes. Every time. And so um, I was sick and and just I was trying to read the study and the words was doing all kind of stuff and I was like this ain't working because I can't read. And so. I remember um, finally the one night I got all my drugs with me and I was feeling a little better and I remember thinking well, I'm going to get some sleep tonight, I'm going to rest and God wouldn't let me sleep. So it was still another night of being up and just tossing and turning and hearing the word of God over and over and over in my spirit. I tried to switch positions and turn all crazy in the bed thinking it would make me go sleeping. My husband probably wondered, what the world is she doing? I was trying to sleep. But the Spirit of the Lord would not let me sleep. And he began to give me a word for here today. And um, so I got up and, and had to go downstairs and just meditate and, and write and, and talk to God about, you know, what he was saying. But I, I appreciate him for that because God knows what his people need yeah, more so than we know what they need. And I don't even like to get into everybody's personal stuff a lot of times because I want to hear what God is saying and I don't want to be concerned about your personal yeah. business. Yeah. I want you to know that what, what you get, it comes from Him and it's, it's, right. it's not me. And so God is just an awesome, 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 awesome God. And I just appreciate Him on today. Amen. And again, I said, y'all just loosen up. Know that we are not here to judge anybody. We are here to worship and lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. I love woman to woman because I get a chance to see how it Ooh, changes the yeah, lives of yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. And that has been my motivating factor from yeah. the beginning when I can see somebody walk out of domestic violence and thought they couldn't do it yeah, and begin to take care of their children and make a living for themselves and they thought they could because they were told they couldn't. Yeah. When I see my model child back there go back to school and become a teacher when she thought that dream would never be. When I begin to see women say, I never thought I could go. I want to be a nurse all my life. And now I'm 30 or 40 years Come old. But I don't think I can. And they begin to come. And she goes back to school. And now she's an RN. Come I on. think God is good. Yeah. Yeah. You better say that. I think God is good. Yeah. I say that we just need to know that through him we can do all oh, things. Yes. And we need to know that when a sister walks in the door, that it's not my place to condemn you or judge you. It's my Pastor. place to help you. Yes. Yes. It's my place to help you. And sometimes we sit on our hands because I think I know you, but I realize I don't really know you. That's right. I judge you by what I think I know about yeah. you. And because of what I think I know, I limit what I do or expand to you. But that's not my job. My job is to do for you what God places in my heart to do. Yes. That is no condemnation. Yes. None. That's not my place. That's right. So we need to be able to embrace our sisters as they come in the door. Because we can do much more together yes. than we can do apart. And I need you. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. I need you on your post doing what God has called you to do. Because yeah. I want one, I want a person. Keep it, I can't do it by myself. <laughs> we can't do it by ourselves. So I need you just as much as you need me Amen. doing what I'm supposed to do. Amen. I need you. Mm -hmm. I need you. So I can't become intimidated by you. Yeah. I can't become jealous of you. Amen. Amen. I can't hold hatred towards you. Yeah. I need you. We may be different, but I still need you. Amen. Come on, Pastor. We gotta stop fighting each other. 
We're fighting each other. We're clawing and pulling. And that's not, so not the will of God. Amen. 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 We're going to roll out. I'm going to go ahead and give you the scripture that God has gave me. And then we're going to keep it rolling, keep moving. But I just want to give you this brief word that he gave me. I won't be long. I thought Keith would come in who had.